the $200 question coming up next. If you're new to this channel and like what we do, then consider subscribing. Or you are a regular here, then welcome back. And this is where we discuss the inherency of scripture and anything else relating to Christianity, and whether it's news topics, religion, or social happenings. We take a look at how it all affects the day-to-day -day lives of followers of Jesus Christ in this ever-changing society. The $200 question, an answer on Jeopardy has sparked protest from viewers after a contestant was told she was wrong for identifying the location of the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem as Palestine. Host Alex Trubeck read the $200 clue from the category, Where's That Church?, which read, Built in the 300s AD, the Church of the Nativity. Contestant Katie Needle responded, What is Palestine? But the answer was rejected. Contestant Jack McGuire then hit his buzzer and answered, What is Israel? Which was ruled correct. Here's a clip of the very moment that sparked the controversy. Uh, church 200. Built in the 300s A.D., the Church of the Nativity. Katie. What is Palestine? No. Jack? What is Israel? That's it. And that takes you to 2200. You're still in third place, however, which, of course, means that you get to go first in double. And there you have it. So the Church of the Nativity is located in Bethlehem, which is part of the West Bank. The popular church is said to be the location of Jesus' birth. The region has been a site of conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians for some time. Some Jeopardy viewers immediately took to Twitter in protest and demanded that Trebek and the popular U.S. show apologize. Now, many would disagree, but the first answer was right. It seems to me that as we become more politically correct, a bit of stupor and brain atrophy begins to set in. Let me give a brief history lesson to those that do not know that Israel was a nation 2,000 years ago, right up until its capital, Jerusalem, was destroyed by Rome and its legions led by Titus in 70 AD, and yes, long before 1948. However, since some do not give credence to the Bible or Jewish history, no wonder why they didn't know this. There was no such thing as the Palestinian territory as we know it now. The term Palestine was created by the British who occupied it for some time, 30 years to be exact, and the Arabs adopted the name. However, Galilee was at one end to the north, Samaria in the middle, and Judea was at the other end to the south. Surrounded by Jerusalem, Bethany, Bethlehem, Hebron, and Jericho, to name a few. The rewriting and denial of biblical Jewish history is shameful and anti-Semitic, as the entire world is seemingly blind to the truth. The Bible is one of the best historical sources that we have of Jewish history and of the Jewish people. And the nation of Israel before its destruction by Rome. Do your research and do not take my word for it. The Jews know that they had a country, a nation, and a homeland called Israel, which after the death of King Solomon was split in two. A southern kingdom which was called Judea and a northern kingdom which was still called Israel. Now, failure to recognize these facts is a blatant disregard for truth and the denial of history. The answer to the $200 question is that Bethlehem is in Israel. Now, this is the ancient land of Canaan, 
which God had promised his people Israel. So the land was left to those you see now, claiming it as their rightful home. And it is. However, the world has given them squatters' rights to occupy the land of Israel, calling it Palestine. Denying that Israel ever existed before 1948 is to deny the very existence of King David, Solomon, the prophet Jeremiah, King Hezekiah, John the Baptist, the Apostle Paul, and even Jesus. Now, Jeremiah had something to say in Jeremiah 32, 22. He reminded God that he promised the children of Israel to give them the land. And this is how it reads. It says, you have given them this land of which you swore to their fathers to give them. A land flowing with milk and honey. This was speaking of the land of Canaan, which was renamed Israel after they had claimed the inheritance that God had given to them. Now, I am not in favor of the mistreatment of the Palestinian people. It seems that my very own people went through a very long period of slavery. So we need to understand. But if the survival of Israel is in jeopardy, then it must be defended at all cost. And the Bible must be fulfilled. Now, I need you to take a look at one of the works of the Jewish Roman historian, Flavius Josephus, entitled The Jewish War, to get a greater insight into what took place, as he was an eyewitness to those very events when Jerusalem was finally sacked by the Romans. Now, the territory that the Jews occupied, which was known as Israel, was renamed so as to minimize any identification that the Jews would have with the land of Israel. The fact is, the world hates Jews. And this is why God will have to come to their rescue, as he has promised in the Bible. I leave you with these two scenes. Jesus weeping over Jerusalem in Matthew 23, 37 through 39. And it says, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it. How often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing? See, your house is left to you, desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And then this happened a second time. He wept over Jerusalem. Again, this is recounted in Luke 19, 41 through 44. And in this one he says, And when he drew near and saw the city, he wept over it, saying, Would that you even you had known on this day the thing that make for peace, but now they are hidden from your eyes. For the days will come upon you when your enemies will set up a barricade around you and surround you and hem you in on every side and tear you down to the ground, you and your children within you. And they will not leave one stone upon another in you because you did not know the time of your visitation. Believe me, I believe that Jesus was talking about this very time when Rome destroyed Jerusalem and basically destroyed the nation of Israel. I hope that was helpful to you. I have got a light-hearted moment. Laughter is good for the soul. So this one is entitled Church Bulletins. You know, it's kind of fascinating at times to read some church bulletins because you never know what you will see. Now, one of the reasons that there are so many misunderstandings about church is because we often send out misleading messages about what we are about. Now, I don't know whether you are familiar with the sort of information that can be found in Sunday bulletins, but someone made a list of some of the most humorous ones. These are actual 
printed church bulletin. Let me give you some examples. Now, one church had this. This afternoon, there will be a meeting in the south and north ends of the church. Children will be baptized at both ends. Another one wrote this. Tuesday at 4 p.m., there will be an ice cream social. All ladies giving milk come early. Thursday at 5 p.m., there will be a meeting of the Little Mothers Club. All ladies wishing to be little mothers, please meet with the pastor in the study. This being Easter Sunday, we will ask Mr. Johnson to come forward and lay an egg at the altar. The service will close with a little drop of water. One of the ladies will start quietly, then the rest of the congregation will join in. On Sunday, a special collection will be taken to the fray expensive of the new carpet. All those wishing to do something on the new carpet come forward and get a piece of paper. Finally this, tonight's sermon, What is Hell? Come early and listen to our choir practice. Well, thanks for watching. Now please subscribe if you have not done so already and click the bell icon so as to not miss any new videos when they are posted. Leave your comments, like, and also share these videos. Remember, there's freedom in truth. I am William Nelson Ryan Saint. May the peace of God be with you. Until next time.